Hey everybody, I'm going to give a few tips for social settings. Now this is a big topic. I'm not going to be able to cover everything in it, but I think what it comes down to a lot of times is in a social setting, we become people pleasers. <laughs> Have you related to that? Are you clear on the goals that you're setting for yourself? And I've had some clients that inspire me sometimes and they're like, dude, I do not care what people think. I am not going to eat X, Y, Z, and I'm totally not even interested. In fact, in social settings, a different client will go to like ward activities or different things. And she's like, I'm never eating that food. She's like, I do not know what animals are in those kitchens. Who's done what if they wash their hands. She's like, and so she doesn't have any temptation when she goes to like ward activities. And so like the mindset behind it, like, where are you? Number one, clear with your goals Two, like, what do you, are you scared of what people think of you? And if you are, okay, religious moment, does Jesus do that? Like, uh, I think that there's a time when we feel congruent about ourselves that we know we're reaching for growth. And in the pursuit of growth, it will require some sacrifices. And we need to come from above the line thinking um, and peace. But it's like outside validation will never really satisfy us. It is a human desire and it is a human need. And there's all times when we do it. And there's sometimes, you know, having that self-awareness around it can be an important part of it, but nobody else can give you what you can give yourself. So that's pretty powerful. And when it comes to social settings and we're people pleasing, do we just not want to feel awkward? Um, what if we owned it? Have you ever met somebody who like has an allergy with whatever celiacs and they can't have flour and they're not sitting there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Like I just, I can't have it. Like they're not in this sob story about it. Like they know it makes them sick. And so you can get in that mind frame if that helps you. So another thought is like, what if we offend someone? Now, nobody wants to offend someone. So if your heart is in the right place and you're above the line, you could reach out to people before you go and you could say something like, hey, I wonder if you can do me a favor and help me. I've been working on my health and on my healthy habits and I'm so excited to come to your party and I just, I wonder if it's okay if I bring something or if you can say, if you can help me stay on track. Um, I just really have gotten so far, like my mindset goes into a tunnel if I, if I kind of deviate. Is it okay? Like, do you, you know, so asking questions, see if you can bring something. And if you're going out to eat, finding, well, what type of vegetable that's low glycemic is there? Maybe I can pick that out and have that. What type of protein is there? Maybe I can pick that out and have that. And maybe I'm not eating like a full meal, but I'll have a little portion of it. Then you can go home and make up for it of however much more protein and veggies you need to have. So social settings, I mean, there's Halloween parties and it's like, Oh my gosh, those are my favorite. So how can you set yourself up for success? In the Atomic Habits book, it talks about making things harder. So maybe you tell your friends, hey, don't let me go by the table because I do not want to go by the table. You guys can be my backup plan. So that can be a way, you know, not going into the kitchen, not putting away the leftovers. Um, maybe you're more focused on people versus the food. And, and where is your life in that scenario? What is your relationship with food versus people? If we really love people, have you ever like gone to lunch and had somebody not order because they're not hungry? Totally a thing. People totally do that or they just get a drink. And so there's a lot of different ideas on what you can do for social settings. And I would love to hear what ideas you guys have too because everybody's so different. And we're just here to to do this together. Hope you guys have a great day.